Today we're spending all our money here in the biggest night markets of the Nang. And so far, I've counted my cash and I have 265,000 dong, which is equivalent to this. $11.19 probably does not mean a lot to you, but here in the Nang Vietnam, it can be a good amount. So we're gonna try to get the cheapest and the smallest dishes so we can make this $11 stretch and have a good night. We started checking out the non-food area first and they had plenty of different souvenirs, glasses, clothes. It's very similar items as you would find in the Bantan markets. Look at these, I think these are... For your oh, oh, okay, massage for your body. What part of your body? Oh wow, that's pretty nice. Oh okay. How, how much is this? Yeah. One hundred. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. Wow. I like it. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Queen. Oh, Queen. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> As much as I really wanted that little massager, we couldn't afford it on this night. So we moved on and got our first meal. Wow, okay, where should we start? Oh, look at this, dude. Oh, wow, oh, ban sale. Wow, ban sale is only 50,000, hello. Oh, what's, oh, bon tic no? Okay, let's have one bon tic no. Yeah, 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 one bon tic no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One bon tic no. Okay, so 35,000 dong for the bon tic no. Oh my god, look at this lobster though. Wow. Wow, whoa, that looks so good. Damn. Look how he cooks it. Wow. As you can see, these markets have plenty of seafood, many of awesome authentic Vietnamese dishes. I highly recommend it. You guys need to check this place out. While we waited for a dish, this gentleman approached me in a wheelchair, trying to sell me some peanuts, and of course, we gotta help my boy. Damn, 20,000 is a lot. Okay, I'll give you, just, can I just get one? Can I just get one? I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna budget here. Okay. Oh, just one, one, one. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You can have this if you want. You can have this. No, no, no. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they never want to take free money. They're like, no, I give you something and you give me something. We're not gonna just do it for free. It's always like that, I don't know why. Our Lore has arrived, and as usual, they always give you a cup with ice, bro. They never disappoint. This guy's waiting for me to pay. I got you, bro. Give me one second. $20,000. Ooh. Looks like I don't know how far we are. After about five minutes, our Bonting Nung arrived, and then I had one of my subscribers actually show up and come and enjoy this dish with me. We both loved it. I would rate this about an 8.5. It was very fresh, had a lot of noodles, and most importantly, the meat. Um, the combination of flavor of Bon Tic Nung is just amazing. Our next dish is a Vietnamese pizza, 20,000 dong. This traditional Vietnamese dish consists of quail eggs, dried pork, dried shrimp, and scallions, and topped with a little bit of chili sauce and mayo. This is a very common Vietnamese dish here, but you have to hear why because of the crunch in the side. Out of all the ones that I've had these in Vietnam, which I've had quite a few, this is one of the best ones. It seems to taste very fresh and clean. I would rate this an 8 compared to the other ones I've had in Vietnam, my god. After this meal, I kept on scoping the markets to find how else can we spend our money. And then I came across this little stall that sold fake tattoos for $20,000. And I've been wanting to see how a tattoo on my neck looks like. So that was our next purchase. Comment down below, do you guys approve or do you not? I don't mind it, I think it looks pretty epic. Oh, I get that. So as you can see, at these markets you can find everything. Especially seafood, dude. If I had more money, we can definitely buy some seafood. But as you guys know, we have $260,000, so this is like double of what we have. But wow, look at the amount of seafood that they have. It's crazy. We found a very affordable and cheap place. 
where we have all types of Vietnamese food. We got Khao Lao, Ni Quang, Bu Tik Nong, which is what we had. I think we should have some. Ooh, I haven't had Khao in a long time. Can I have a, a Khao Lao? Khao Lao, please? Yes, please. Khao Lao, yeah. Khao yeah, yeah. Lao, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Our Khao Lao has arrived, guys. As you can see, it's just a lot of pork beef on the top with this really thick noodles, crispy pork right here, and a lot of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. So what I do is I mix it all together. But the speciality of this dish is the sauce in the cow lao. The cow lao sauce is amazing. And you throw in the vegetables with the bean sprouts in there. And now it's a real dish, bro. Now it's a real dish, as you guys can see. Mm. So we have lettuce and we have mint. The mint, holy shit, it gives it so much flavor with the combination of saltiness with the bean sprouts and the meat. Wow. After that amazing cow lao, we only had this amount of cash left. So we kept on looking around the markets, trying to get something that wasn't too big because I was already pretty full, but something substantial at a very affordable price so we can still have enough money for our dessert. How much? 13? Yes. Okay, I have one. Okay, thank you, thank you. Since we're on a budget, we just decided to get a little... I don't know what this is, this is like a sausage skewer. I'm not sure, but I really don't know what the hell it is. It's 13,000 long, so we'll try. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, this is really good. I thought this was gonna be like, like chewy, fatty beef, but no, this is a lot of beef here. Wow, it just slides out and it's so tasty. Holy shit, bro. My heart. Bro, I can live off of this shit. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I haven't even put the sauce on it yet. Mmm, baby. Oh. Mm. I'm okay. Mm. So good. Bro, wow. Wow. I have to give this. No joke, for the price, and when being offered here, it has to be a nine though, this thing is tasty. It does not taste like shitty meat, it's quality stuff, wow, I don't know where this comes from, but fuck. Oh, it's 30, fuck, I thought you said 13, oh no, you took my money, Thank you. oh no, they lied to me, oh, okay, 30,000 dollars. Like, I can understand why it was 30 and not 13. It was fucking good meat, dude. It was delicious. It was so tasty. After that delicious beef sausage, we only had this amount of money left. Therefore, we needed to go find somewhere we can get a really nice dessert for very cheap. And fortunately, today was my lucky day. Oh, we have 22,000. Yeah? Okay, yes. yes, thank you. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What is your favorite? Uh, strawberry? Okay, okay, strawberry. Okay. Thank you. But look at how perfect these are. Wow. It's so nice. Dude. The chocolate combination with strawberry is brutal. That's the thing about Vietnam. Like, let's say you decide to bring a family here. Everyone can eat whatever they want. Nobody needs to worry about prices. You can just have a good time, dude. Wow. This is so delicious, bro. I'm so full. I cannot eat anymore. I'm stuck. But if you like this market video, go check out the one that I did in Saigon. It's the num number one food markets there. Whole Tiki Markets. I'll leave it right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Chris Rodriguez. Bye.